Hello and welcome to another episode of After School Kids Lab. This week we are going to be doing a teamwork building challenge called Can You Save Fred? Every Wednesday we have a video that we will upload doing either a craft, a science experiment, a skill, or a game. For this teamwork building challenge, you're going to need a few things, most of which you probably have at home. One thing you're going to need that's a little bit special is gummy worms. <laughs> they can be any kind, so it could be the kind that has sugar on the outside, ours do not. That's okay too. And we're going to need some lifesaver gummies. Now these do need to be the gummies kind because they have to be big enough for our worm to be able to fit through the middle. Also, you're going to need four paper clips, just basic paper clips. So you might have these at home already. Also, you're going to need a clear container, something like this that's relatively small. An optional item is a container that you can put all of these things in for our challenge. So now I'm going to explain how you can do this challenge. In the Can You Save Fred challenge, it is you and your partner's mission to save the hapless Fred. Fred the gummy worm has gone out on his boat, the clear container, without wearing his life preserver, the gummy lifesaver. The optional tray serves as the lake in this story. While Fred is out on the lake, a big gust of wind causes his boat to capsize. His boat is upside down, his life preserver is underneath it, and Fred is stranded on top. Working in a group of two, you must turn Fred's boat right side up, get Fred back into his boat, and put Fred's life preserver on. But there are rules you must follow when you accomplish these tasks. First of all, you can only touch the paper clips. You can't touch Fred, the boat, or the life preserver with your hands. Second of all, you can't let Fred fall into the lake. Third, you have to be careful not to injure Fred, such as spearing him with the end of a paper clip. Before you begin, you may want to think of a plan and even draw out the plan of how you will save Fred. You will want to talk to your partner to make sure you know who will be doing certain actions of the plan. If you end up dropping Fred, poking your paper clip through him, or touching any of the objects in the challenge other than the paper clips, you have to start over from the beginning. Now remember the rules. You can't touch Fred, his life preserver, his boat, and you can't let Fred fall into the lake because then he'd drown. Also, very important rule. You can't eat Fred <laughs> or his life preserver. During or after the Can You Save Fred challenge, you will want to ask yourself a few questions. After all, this is After School Kids or Ask Lab. First of all, did you find anything particularly tricky to saving Fred? Our most challenging part of the process was trying to get Fred into his life preserver. Three paper clips had to be used to widen the opening of the lifesaver while the one remaining paper clip was used to guide the gummy worm through the opening. Also, did you find any techniques that helped you in saving Fred from his perilous situation? We decided to unfold our paper clips so that we had farther reach. Before we did this, we kept touching objects by accident and having to start over. Last of all, did you learn anything about working as a team? Did anything go well? Anything frustrate you? Let us know how the challenge went for you. You can even post a comment, photo, or video on our Facebook page. We would love to hear about your after school kids lab experiences. We hope you enjoyed the challenge, Can You Save Fred? Now, if you have any gummy worms left over, you can ask your adult if it's okay to eat them. That's what we're gonna do next. Also, next week, we are going to be doing 3D hand art. Until then, bye!